What's going on guys, Mesa here, and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about OG names in Minecraft. These types of names have gained a very large following in the Minecraft community, but are they overrated? That's what we're going to be discussing this video. If you guys going to enjoy this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's quickly go over what an OG name is. An OG name is typically a username that uses a very common word. For instance, jump. These names accumulate value based on who its previous owners are and how many people want the name. In order to acquire the OG name, you either change your Minecraft name to the OG name or you buy the Minecraft account with the OG name already on it. These are also known as OG accounts. There are a lot more things that go into OG names, like if the name uses a prefix or suffix, or if the OG name is just a word that no one actually uses. So if you want more information about OG names and OG accounts, then I recommend this great video by IG and Chucky after you finish this video. So with that out of the way, let's look at our arguments. A big part of the OG name community is how much a name is valued at. This usually depends on what the name is and who the name's previous owner was. Popular names that have recognition are Dream, Calvin, and Pikachu because these names are either owned by large content creators or are related to popular media franchises. Names that have sold for a lot of money because they are regular words are names like Mixer, Infinite, and Blow, each of them selling for $700, $1,000, and $1,400 respectively. Some could see that as insane, considering this is all just for your name in a block game. A standard Minecraft account costs $26.95, yet some of these names cost over 50 times that. I have personal experience trying to acquire the OG name Typical, and when asking how much the account was being sold for, the seller said he was asking for $250. Because of these prices, for your average Minecraft player, these names are virtually unobtainable. You could try to buy and flip OG names, but that is a topic for someone else to cover. Something that you have to be careful about are scams. You could be trying to buy an OG name and have your money stolen while getting nothing in return, or you can have an OG name and someone steal the account without you ever getting paid. And it doesn't help that there are a multitude of ways to get scammed. The buyer or seller could give you fake information. If you don't use some sort of middleman, there's a possibility that the exchange is rigged. If it's an OG account, the account information could be shared by multiple people, and one of the users could make the account inaccessible by changing the login. Or the account could have a sketchy history, like if it's banned on a popular server, or if the name itself is in violation with some server's terms of service. So if you plan on getting an OG name or account, do the research and take any necessary precautions. There are a number of people who try to get an OG name for recognition, because usually if you see someone with an OG name, they stand out. It is something that makes you unique and special compared to everyone else in the lobby. I have had plenty of times when playing with friends where we encountered someone with an OG name, and they stood out to the point of scaring us because if they had such a special name, we believed they must be great at the game. I think these names stand out because they use familiar words that we hear regularly in our day-to-day -day lives. But deciding on whether or not a word is common enough to be considered an OG name will vary depending on the name. Some feel that OG names have caused the community to become lazy with the names people choose. To quote my friend, people don't try to come up with unique and cool usernames that identify themselves anymore. Instead, they resort to finding any word in the dictionary that's still available on NameMC. Here's another way to put it. Usernames used to be the digital persona of their user, reflecting their unique presence on the internet. But now, that uniqueness is gone, and some people are just taking words and adding prefixes or suffixes that don't necessarily work, and yet are calling them OG names. It creates a culture that makes everyone want an OG name, but with actual OG names not being very obtainable by the average user, they settle for the closest thing to an OG name they can create. But if we're being serious, they aren't really OG names at all. So, given the information in this video, do you believe OG names in Minecraft are overrated? I really am interested in seeing how everyone feels about this topic, so please let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. I check all my comments and will be responding to those who ask questions. If you guys enjoyed this video, then it would really mean a lot if you guys hit that like button and subscribe. That's the end of this video, thank you so much all for watching, and have a great day.